Hi everyone, this is Dr. Rukmani Chaudhary and you are watching Dr. Rukmani's Health Update. My today's topic is spider vein, varicose vein. So you are requested to watch complete video for complete information. I'll be talking about like what are spider veins, varicose vein, difference between varicose uh, and spider vein and the prevention part, risk factors like who are at a higher risk of uh, spider vein as well as varicose vein. In the end, we'll talk about, uh, you know, the best effective home. So let's begin. What are spider veins? Spider, as the name says, a spider, or we call like them, uh, you know, even thread veins. They are tiny blood vessels and when they are ruptured, there is a bleeding and then they are called spider veins. They are small in size, they are tiny, they are bluish or purplish in color and they are usually found on face. So these are spider vein. Then what are varicose vein? Varicose vein are you know bit different. They are, they are bigger blood vessels, they, they are tortuous, they are twisted and when there is a bleeding and they are usually found deeper inside. On the other hand spider vein are more superficial one. So these are the spider vein and the varicose vein. About the difference part like and why we should know about like these are spider vein and these are varicose vein. So spider vein as like these are tiny, uh, smaller in size and they are usually found superficial. They are superficial one and they are painless. This is a very important part that they are painless. They are harmless. They don't cause any trouble. They are usually cosmetic concern. On the other hand, varicose vein are the bigger one they are the deeper one and they are twisted and they are the bigger lumps obviously and they are or a skin color we can say and they are symptomatic like they cause discomfort at times they are painful they are itchy and there's a burning so and heaviness they cause a symptom these factors causes and who are prone who you know are at a higher risk number so, one is genetics see family history usually will will discuss all like uh, the spider vein as well as varicose vein Spider vein are usually they the run in the family. Being Women being a female, yes, the spider vein are more common to have. And being older, once you get older, obviously your valve, the venous valve, they are weakened and they are damaged. So let's talk about the valve and the vein part. See, when these are the type of blood vessels that carry blood towards your heart you know so they, they are having the like a uh, blood flow against the gravity if we talk about the leg part they are the wind and through your leg the blood flow towards the heart that's why to prevent that back flow of the blood they have wall so once the flow is towards the heart they like they are closed so that's how it goes on like there's a normal blood circulation maintained but once these wall get vacant or they are damaged obviously there's a splitting there is a bleeding hemorrhage and there's a pooling of blood this gives you the spider vein and the vein. depending on the damage how severe is the damage which part is affected and how severe is the damage being older obviously being a woman and hormones estrogen hormones have an effect on your vein and like if you are using birth control pills or like a contraceptive pills and if you are taking a, like a hormone therapies during your menopause time then this also you know gives you the spider vein or varicose vein and exposure for longer extended hours you are again you are prone to have all these problems excessive uh, like uh, extra body weight or being obese uh, again yeah, act as a risk factors you are obese so there is a you know the pressure on the man and obviously there's a pressure so their wall becomes vacant and uh, having pregnancy the pregnant women they have spider vein and once there's a delivery the uh, spider vein goes off with the time so these are uh, like associated with the pregnancy pressure like whether you are obese or you are having you know pregnancy so these conditions have pressure on the veins and uh, that's how the wall become vacant and prevention part see prevention uh, is always about uh, having a watch on your risk factors and causes so just have a watch on all these causes like if you are inactive if your life is sedentary so just be active uh, you know uh, do regular exercises and have a walk or mobile so these are the things that you should keep in mind and the second uh, maintain a healthy body weight obviously the weight causes extra pressure so just maintain a good weight and if you're having high blood pressure just get this treated have medication for that so that your venous are not in that much you know pressure sunscreen so protection is again a very crucial part of treating all these venous like particularly for the spider vein so if you are having extended hours like in sun exposure just use 
uh, sun cream at least for your face and uh, if you are in the habit of sitting for a longer time and you are bound to sit for a longer hours or extended hours so just have a break after every 30 minutes just have a walk uh, it is a very crucial so that your blood circulations uh, is you know in a better way and you don't have any clogging or clotting or any problem wearing stockings compression stockings again a very good habit so that uh, you know even and that uniformly gives you the pressure and that helps you in the blood circulation so you can wear some stockings you can wear and avoid tight clothing around your waist tight clothing obviously uh, you know gives you the extra pressure on the vein so that uh, will ultimately will give you like uh, the venous problem venous insufficiency so it's always better to avoid tight clothing particularly especially around your waist avoid alcohol or cutting down alcohol gives you the better result because alcohol also causes you know pressure uh, so that gives you the you know spider vein avoid that if you can fitting your feet if you are you know in the habit of hanging down just avoid that and try to elevate your feet as much as possible so again there is a no extra pressure on your vein on your leg vein particularly and you don't have any varicose vein related problems massages massages also helps you in the circulation so uh, you can get it done uh, that will help you now the homeopathy part best effective homeopathy vein, as well as varicose vein we'll talk about i have already uploaded videos venous insufficiency related like varicose and, and uh, like uh, dvt deep venous thrombosis part and varicose vein part already uploaded just go through all those videos so you get some amount of help from those videos homeopathy medicine if you are watching on youtube i have provided medicines link in the description box below you can buy medicine from there and you can use and you can put your comment after using all the medicines and just watch medicine part it's very important like a medicine can be uh, you know changed with the patient's history patient symptom what is your totality of the symptom what is your case individual your case whether these are painful these are painless whether you are having spider vein varicose vein which part you are having so medicine uh, gets changed with the particular I symptom buy all the medicine just just you know watch the video calcarea floor you must have heard about calcarea floor that calcarea floor is given in the all like various insufficiency cases or like whether it is a growth case or uh, any kind of lump and that is hard so in that case we prescribe calcarea see just try to buy medicine in the liquid form if it is possible if you are having pills form just have it and it is the company's color so it can vary with the companies in which place you belong so never ever like uh, you have the same color the same medicine it is not like that just focus on the main medicine name the calcarea name this is a biocomic medicine in calcarea floor and calcarea floor is given when you have hard varicose vein like you are having venous insufficiency and these are hard and lumpy in that case you can use calcarea floor calcarea floor orally these all medicines are in oral form like orally just have one or two drops direct on tongue and just have it like uh, two or three times before having your meal calcarea carb is again a very good medicine and a female remedy as well calcarea carb is like you are having when your vein are they are painless they don't causing any problem and you are having coldness in your feet right so in that case you can use calcarea lagasses is prepared from the snake and that is again a very effective in medicine that is given in all like reading cases so lagasses is given when you have like night aggravation and you are having uh, bluish uh, or the ulceration in that case this is given when you have painful varicose vein or painful spider vein painful you are having pain so in that case you can use pulsatilla pulsatilla like aggravated by hanging down if you are hanging down your leg you get aggravated you are having worse symptoms so in that case pulsatilla is used vipera again prepared from the viper snake and viper is given again when you have bursting sensation you are having varicose vein and you are having bursting as if your uh, you know vein would burst and you are having cramps also with that in that case you can use viper hemolysis is given when you have uh, like a uh, deeper venous problem and you are having even ulceration wound formation so in that case you can use carbovage you must have heard about that this is given in the gastric problem but it is 
effective in all blood circulatory like circulation problems like venous insufficiency it is a very good medicine you are having coldness of feet and you are having spider vein particularly bluish and purple is very specific medicine spider vein. vein so this is given in a very effective carbo veg vegetable charcoal prepared from that and this is given again orally one or two drops direct on tongue zincum metallicum is known for the like varicose vein and these are the bigger one these are the tortuous twisted so in those cases we prescribe zincum metallicum particularly for the extremities problem acid hydrofluoricum medicine like for the varicose vein purpose and you get aggravated by warm and you you get a cold application so in these cases acid hydro are like advised to use these are sunny herbal homeopathic sun protection so you can apply before going outside 30 minutes prior of going outside you and if you are having high blood pressure just get it treated and you can use homeopathy medicine r85 i have already uploaded video on that almost everything about spider vein as well as varicose vein so hopefully this video can help you if this helped you please like and share and please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified and keep watching keep supporting thank you for your support thank you for watching Thank you so much.